If you as a parent think that you can get in there and ghostwrite your son or daughter's emails, you got another thing coming. Because coaches, they see right through it. If you think you can drive that process, forget it. As a parent, we want what is best for our children and we never want to believe that we haven't done everything possible. Ziggy Schmidt taught me a long time ago, as a father and as a former college coach, the best thing you can tell your kid is, I just love watching you play. The best thing you can do is start and do the groundwork starting freshman and sophomore year so that the academics are in place, the financial piece works, start researching colleges, start visiting colleges. You know what these coaches look for? They want to come and watch you play. They want you to come to an ID camp. They want your transcripts. They want to be able to gauge your character. They want to meet your parents. They want to see that you're going to be self-sufficient, hardworking, perseverant, that you've got the human qualities to contribute to the school environment. And I don't care if you're 16 or 17 years old and you don't know exactly what you want to do, know what you don't want to do. If you are a good enough player then, and you take all the tests that we talked about and you fit the admissions profile, then you can start using those criteria to determine a list of 20 schools. But most importantly, a college coach isn't gonna take you because it's not just about the soccer, but they're also responsible for seeing that you graduate. So college coaches bring in student athletes who are mature enough to handle the workload. They can find the balance between the demands of the classroom and the soccer field. And it's restrictive on the social side. You're not getting a college experience and people don't realize that. I have kids telling me all the time, well, I wanna to go to a big school and you know, go to football games. Well, they're in the same season. So if you're playing soccer, you're not gonna to go to football games. So the key then becomes, you know, marketing yourself.